Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can automatically download all of your MS Form response into Excel sheet and then send that Excel sheet to your email ID. That could be your manager email ID or your client emails ID. As you can see, I have created a flow that is manually triggered and it's downloading my Excel sheet and then I'm sending that Excel sheet to my email and which consists all of the my form responses as of now i have two form responses so it is sending all the form responses into my email so we'll talk about how we can create this by default in our flow we have a trigger that is every time a new response is submitted there is nothing like uh, which can capture all form responses so we'll do this by an api call so let's just talk about how we can do i'll go in my flow sections create an instant cloud flow you can create a this as a scheduled workflow as well that's up to your requirement i'll manually trigger this and name this as save form responses to excel in the next step i will send an http request to sharepoint and in the site address I will select form.office.com put that as an sorry put that as an enter custom value save this scroll it up that is fine now in the URI section what we're going to do is I'll, I'm, I'll go into my form responses as you can see they're open in excel i'll open my developer tool you can either open this into chrome or firefox that's up to your requirements open your network head click on this open excel now you will see that there is a, a download file dot ashx api call i'll just copy this entire url go in my uri and paste it here now you can see that it is calling a forms api i will remove this part which is forms.office.com which i've already mentioned there and forms api download excel file dot ashx and then this is the form id and from here to here this is my form id and there is a time zone offset in which time zone i am and there is time zone id and then you can see min response id is one and max response id is two because my form has maximum response of two i can set this as thousand and i will save this so this step will actually download my excel files for me and the next step is i'm gonna save this excel file somewhere so in my case i will save this to my document library of sharepoint you can save this to your onedrive as well that's up to your requirement So I will do create file SharePoint create file site address dev site folder path will be I have a document library with the name of forms inside that I have forms data and the file names you can put any file name that's up to your requirement again if you want to create a replaceable file that uh, every day you run this flow the old file should replace then you can put a unique name otherwise you can just select utc now here and then put the extension as dot xlsx right in my case i want to put this as a unique name forms data dot xlsx this is the excel extension which i have to put and in the file content i will select this uh, my send http request body and once it is there the file is created into my document library now i have to send that file over my email so what i'll do is i will create a i will create a scheduled delay and it will be like for 10 second what happens is whenever we create a new files our new step is triggered and by the time the file is not created or not refreshed uh, by some reason in that case your next step will be failed so i'm putting a 10 second delay here so that 
when I select uh, get file content that is SharePoint uh, get file content using path I'm gonna select this get file content site address will be my site where I have stored the data file identifier will be the create file item ID right and once I have this file content with me what I'm gonna do next is send email and uh, to I'll select my name here you can select uh, your client name your manager names and to whom you want to send this excel sheet and specify the subject subject will be my forms responses body will I just put simply PFA and in the attachment name I'm gonna select uh, create file name and in the attachment content this will be get file content we'll check this everything is sorted I will save this now we'll test our flow manually continue run flow our flow ran successfully now we'll uh, go to our document library first you can see that we have this forms data.xlsx and now uh, I will go to my email we'll check this one we have new excel file here which have all the responses there so that's all for this video uh, likewise you can create multiple things out of this excel once you have this entire excel sheet you can uh, apply some filter you can fetch the data that you want to send across email and in our next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, some filter based out of this uh, excel and then send that uh, filtered data to emails using customized html and in the next video we are going to convert that uh, excel into a beautiful formatted pdf as well so i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching keep watching learn and tech